plan for the people is a plan for rural Ontario. So we're also going to expand natural gas, cellular and broadband services to more rural communities. The government is currently blocking gas companies from expanding distribution into rural areas. The distributors are ready to make these investments, but they can't. They're going to fix that. We are going to let natural gas companies make these investments. This will mean expanding natural gas to 70 new communities and 38,000 new customers. We will take the $100 million this will save and invest it into partnerships with broadband providers. This will help get more rural communities connected to cellular and broadband services. This means better, more reliable connections better opportunities to create and grow a business, better options to find a good job. And so how optimistic are you feeling after today's announcement? Uh, well, I'm glad at least a politician's talking about farming. I think that's very important that somebody came here at least to see us. We had uh, some of the media that I've never seen leave the city of Toronto actually came down here. That you know, there's a whole area of, of Ontario outside the city of, of Toronto and, and just because there's a population centered there, that doesn't mean where the wealth is in this province, the wealth is all of us. So will you be voting, I guess, for Doug Ford and, and the PCs? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, he also mentioned uh, natural gas uh, expansion. Uh, tell me about that. The well, natural that? gas, even we need natural gas for our, our corn dryers and our, our, any of our dryers to run our grain through. Uh, we can't use electric, that's ridiculous, right? Uh, natural gas is our most efficient way of, of drying our grain. We need to expand that service out to farmers everywhere.